Hey guys, what's going on? Earlier, uh, I mentioned, uh, that IREC was going to come out. I was, I had made a video back in June about that, and now it finally is out for, uh, pretty much all iOS 7 devices. Um, it does have some limitations. I don't really know, uh, what devices it doesn't work on. But I know there are some, and you should probably visit their uh, Twitter page because they update on uh, what is, uh, what it will support and what it won't. But anyway, I am using currently my uh, iPhone 5 running on iOS 7.1. I can show you that. Uh, I'll get into why I'm out there later. Uh, yeah, see, iOS 7.1.2, it's up to date. You might need to update to download it. But anyway, how you're going to get it is you're going to go to uh, Safari. You can already see. Um, anyway. And then you're going to go ahead and look up mu for iOS.net. Just click on that. And it's going to give you that install button. Now, I already did it, so it wouldn't really serve me any purpose. But when you install it, it's going to be this app right here. You're going to click on it. You're going to go all the way up. You're going to hit iRec Beta. You can read all about it. Not really much of a description, but there is some. And then you're going to hit that install button on the right. Uh, then it's going to get this one. It might take a while. It might not work. You might have to wait a little bit. The servers were down a little bit earlier, and I had to wait like about 10-15 uh, minutes to finally be able to download it. But trust me, it definitely is worth the wait because it's very good of an app. Um, now what you're going to do is uh, when you open it, uh, as you can see, I am already recording. Uh, sometimes when you record, after you're done recording, the video will be black and the audio will still be there. So it's weird. How do you fix that? Well, you're going to go to settings and you're going to go to do 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 do. Uh, give me a second. I kind of forgot just now, um, I don't remember, <laughs> uh, oh yeah, all the way down, you're going to go to iRec, okay, and then you might have to turn record audio off for just a little bit, now I'm not going to do that, because if I do that, you won't be able to hear me in my instructions, <laughs> but you might have to do that, uh, and then as well as that, don't turn it back on yet, I'm going to go to general, and you're going to go all the way down to, do, 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 maybe not all the way down, da, 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 accessibility, yes. And then go all the way down here, and assistive touch, you're going to need to turn that on, and then just record a video, it's not going to record audio, and there's going to be like this little thing that's going to be kind of annoying. Just record a little video, two seconds long, stop the recording, and then you can turn them off, and it should work. I hope that helps you guys, and I'm really excited to use this app. Uh, I'm going to be making some amazing uh, gameplay videos, and with very great quality. I know a lot of you have been wanting me to get a capture card for me, making my PlayStation walkthroughs and stuff like that. But uh, anyway, I hope this helped you. I know that it's a little bit uh, complicated, because it's only been released for about four hours now. Um, so get it while you, uh, while you can. Uh, I'm pretty sure that it's going to be supported on iOS uh, 8. I mean, that's what the creator said, so uh, I I have faith in them. I mean, they made this awesome app, so I, I think we can trust them. So anyway, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys next time. 